Master Uguay was one of the funniest YouTubers ever, gaining millions of views on each short he posted, whilst having a very loyal audience. But today, he's one of the most hated people on the internet. How did a guy with a following of 6 million subscribers lose all of that respect in just 2 years? And more importantly, will Master Uguay ever recover from his downfall? But first, we need to go back in time to May 24th, 2021 when the Master Uguay channel was born, and it was a very quick success. His first video was an impression of the turtle Master Uguay from Kung Fu Panda, except he changed the words up a little. He made the wise turtle give relationship advice, and it was hilarious to say the least. His first two videos both hit 100,000 views, and it was a very impressive start for a new channel. It had a very funny and unique purpose, so it had a lot of potential to make it far on YouTube. Every day, new words of wisdom were given, like, if she does not do what you desire, her sister you shall acquire, and many more quotes of a similar purpose to that. The channel and its ever-growing audience looked unstoppable, until slowly this audience lost interest in Master Uguay's quotes. They were just getting boring and repetitive, so Master Uguay was forced to add more spice to his videos, and in the October of 2021, he did just that. <laughs> Like every dying content creator, Uguay needed to switch his content up a little. So on October 18th, 2021, he decided it was time for a face reveal. And with this face reveal, his channel split into two. On YouTube Shorts, he would continue uploading his once funny Master Uguay quotes, teaching his remaining audience to get in bed with their friend's sister. Just to clarify, you shouldn't do that. And on his long form videos, he would start doing the most degenerate content on the entire platform. Reaction videos. On December the 7th, his first ever reaction video was posted and it hit 60,000 views after a week. Now while that's a desirable view count and I'm sure he was very happy with the result, the video served no value. He just sat there, stated the obvious and laughed every now and then when he found something funny. In short, he was farming effortless reaction content. And while this does pay the bills, it doesn't incentivize anyone to pay you any respect. And Master Uguay will continue this shameless content farm for about a year, using the exact same low quality reaction face in almost every single goddamn thumbnail until eventually just like his master Uguay quotes people got bored of it and he was forced to find another source of views On May 4th, 2023, Master Uguay made a highly controversial video. This video was titled, My Opinions on Black People, and the humour was really dark. In this video, you could see him speaking, except he had music over the top, so you didn't actually know what he was saying. Now, this was very obviously a joke. He was saying really racist things, but you couldn't hear it because of the music on top. And people found it funny, including me. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with some slightly dark humour. But like a baby, Master Uguay saw how much attention his joke got, and he decided to upload the same video 50 freaking times. Each time, he replaced black people with a different race and dried out the joke completely. By the end of it, the joke was drier than my Discord server. I'm joking, I love you guys, really. Master Uguay had become the class clown of YouTube. He made the whole class laugh once and saw it as the funniest thing ever, so he used that one joke all yeah. the time, until eventually the class just stopped laughing. But when that day came, Master Uguay decided it was time to turn his humour up a level. He started to make some of the most controversial jokes on the entire internet. And I have a few specific examples that I want to talk about. One relating to racism and the other to literal pedophilia. Yes, the thumbnail of this video wasn't a cheap lie to get clicks. In this video, it shows an innocent boy doing a tutorial on how to sit down when wearing a suit. But instead of seeing a kid trying his best to do YouTube, Master Rugwe saw a good joke for views. In step one, the kid tells the viewer to undo their button and he demonstrates it. It's kind of wholesome, until all of a sudden it cuts to Master Uguwe, who says a very questionable sentence. Bro is getting ready to be sold. Now I've seen tons of people defending this video saying that it's just a dark joke and there's no reason to take it seriously. But I find it crazy how people can shield this kind of behaviour. In most of his other videos, Uguay just says a joke to the camera. But in this specific one, he made a joke about a real person. If that's not too far, then I don't know what is. And if the video wasn't enough evidence for you, wait until you read the caption. Tyronius III. So not only is he referred to the boy as a literal slave, 
Dave, he decided to stereotypically name him. And do remember that this is a real kid who didn't sign up for this abuse. But if racially harassing a kid wasn't terrible enough, this next video will leave you shocked. This video is captioned Uguay's wisdom, age, and he goes back to his traditional ways of making content. A good old quote in the Master Uguay voice. Except this quote wasn't good, and definitely wasn't to do with anything old. If her age is on the clock, she's ready for the... Now if you're over the age of 12, I'm pretty sure we all know what was going to be said after that camera cut. And we definitely know what numbers appear on the clock. This man is 26 years of age and is making jokes about doing the deed with an 11 year old kid. That is so messed up. I am by no means accusing him of actually doing this with minors. And I do understand that it is meant to be a joke, but it's just not funny. It's going way too far and it definitely crosses the line. But does the man behind Master Uguay have any remaining hope? He's hated by most, his channel's dead, and he has videos joking about pedophilia and racism willingly online. Surely he can't recover. Well, I think he can. With a channel of over 6 million subscribers, of course he has a chance of regaining his former success. It's just a matter of fixing his damaged reputation, which sounds a lot easier than it is. He needs to make a massive apology. And I'm not talking about the Travis Scott kind of apology. I mean a real one. I by no means believe he is truly racist or likes children, but posting jokes based on YouTube for some attention is stupid. It's also important that I don't intend to direct any hate to Uguay with this video. I just think he needs calling out before he takes another step further away from a line society has set. With that said, I hate to be that guy, but I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. You can always undo it if you get bored of my British accent, and that subscriber number going up just makes me so happy.